Days might lie ahead for Towson's wife, Deanna. Believe it or not, the officer didn't have a life insurance policy and leaves his family without the safety net that many people would have in this situation. Team 12's Ryan Cody is live in our newsroom tonight. And Ryan, we're learning that this has nothing to do with lack of trying. No, absolutely not. Officer Townsend and his family did try, but they were priced out of an affordable rate. Not because his job is high risk, but because he is specifically as a cancer survivor. A funeral is just the beginning to a long road of grief for a family losing its husband and father. Watching that man dolt over that child, it just shows the maturity, the direction, the fierce determination that he always showed. The same determination it took to beat testicular cancer, one of Townsend's greatest achievements, giving his wife what he hoped was a lifetime of support. But beating cancer also did something else. It priced him out of an affordable life insurance plan. My heart is just absolutely breaking for the entire family. Pat Elliott is beating cancer now for the second time. I was diagnosed with breast cancer when I was 35 years old. In my 50s, I was diagnosed with leukemia. And still fighting 10 years later. But because of the breast cancer she beat. I could not get health insurance or life insurance. Why is it so difficult? It's difficult because insurance is based on actuarial tables. Their whole business is based on risk and loss and guesses and so forth and so on. And, and the tables tell them that somebody may get a cancer again and may die. That's a risk for them financially they don't want to take. Elliot says she's surviving the cancer, but it's just as hard surviving financially. A burden she knows is now unfairly placed on the shoulders of a family already dealing with too much. He went through all of that to survive the cancer, and then he, he dies by something as senseless as someone texting on the road. It's just, ugh, it's awful. A GoFundMe page set up to help with this exact issue surpassed its initial goal of $50,000, but that is nowhere near what the policy would have given to his wife and son. So now the same fundraising page, which you can now find on 12news.com, has a new goal of a hundred grand. And right now it is just shy of $70,000. We're in the Live Alert Center tonight. Ryan Cody, 12 News at 10. All right, Ryan, thanks.